Chaplain Cannon here with the word of the day, and today's word is revenge. Now, it has been said by many that there is nothing better than sweet revenge. Having the ability to enact pain or create havoc for someone that has caused you trouble is a beautiful thing. After all, there is nothing better than watching them suffer and feel the exact same pain you felt. Am I right? But wait just a minute. Now, have you ever wondered who came up with such crazy advice? I mean, we are intelligent creatures. We can rationalize. So logically, what comes of revenge? Pain, suffering, more revenge, anger, anxiety, wrath, violence, divorce, and sometimes even murder. Our family members can get hurt, our careers get hurt, and it even separates us from those we love. So then logically, why is revenge so desirable? What makes it so attractive? I mean, for the individual receiving the revenge, it's painful. It causes emotional and physical harm. It can alter our behavior to where we are fear trusting others and puts us in a protective stance. For the one dishing it out, it fills your heart with hatred and a desire to do evil, forces you to think negatively. It can have the reverse effect you desire on your personal life and even on how you view the world and the situations that you encounter. Let's face it. In order to act on the desire for revenge, you have to become the very thing that you hate. In other words, for you to act on the desire to get revenge, you have to embrace the very emotion that caused you such pain. Or better stated, you just let the very person who caused you pain to win again. Now the Bible suggests another route by saying, If your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him a drink. For in so doing, you will heap coals of fire on his head. Now I know, I know that sounds bad, but what this is referring to is an ancient Egyptian ritual by which one was asking for reconciliation and forgiveness. The idea is that evil will overcome by good and love will become the dominant force. Love is a source of everything wonderful in this world. Let's face it, wouldn't you rather have a desire for love and happiness over depression and anxiety? I know I would. Now, I know some may not hold the same faith traditions as myself and may say that's just Bible stuff. However, logically, any one of us can understand that revenge just causes more revenge. Violence begets violence, anger causes more anger. If I may suggest, be the bigger person, stop the cycle, and start acting out in love. I promise your attitude towards others will change. You'll smile more, have a more positive outcome in life, develop better and more personal relationships, and it may just improve your health. Revenge. It's just not worth the effort. Well, that's all I have for now. God bless. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.